Right, you've seen that this works and we've put it in place and what the next decision was where to put this point. Now we looked at straights and it just didn't work. So what, don't be afraid to cut track up, I know it's expensive but we took a Hornby curve, small curve and I cut it and that works. Now the important thing is, is you don't cheat or bend fish plates because on bends it's going to come off. And I hope you can see here that, that I hope that works. Now what we have to do is we've got to move this a little bit just a little bit over which is fine because it's a huge runoff area it's not going to affect it here this bend because it's a long straight going on to a really tender bend this should not be a problem now if it doesn't work when we've put it all together we can move further back and do a, a proper curve but what I really want to do is I want to get this so that I've got a very gentle curve and it is so gentle and the thing is it's got such a, a runoff area you've got to be so careful with these locomotives because you bend the bogey too much it's all going to come off the track coaches a majority of them are okay but you've got to try and keep everything gentle I did look at putting a curve point in here like this and you can see I could have straightened it up and it looks nice and on the face of it you think well actually that looks okay and this would straighten this up but you can see the problem I'm going to have is just too close to the other track it's just so, I mean don't get me wrong it's a lovely lovely curve on it but it is just too close to the other track and they're pushing out, they're both pushing out so they can, if there were a concave bend either way then it would be a lot easier but because they're both pushing out and carriages are pushing out it's not going to work now I'm using Streamline, Pico Streamline track because it gives me the flexibility of not having really tight bends so in effect I'm making the runoff a lot lot easier but that's the most important thing, your preparation. Now I don't need to film this because you've seen me filming before, I don't want to bore you with it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out, cut where I need to cut the track and then I will show you and we'll test to see if everything works. Now what I've done is, I'm just going to show you this, is I've actually connected everything up how it is when it's going to run. So basically, instead of bending it into position and guessing, I've connected everything exactly how it's going to run. So it's exactly, and the important thing you have to do, I cannot stress, is make sure that everything here, the fish plates are lined up and the track is lined up perfectly. This here, you can move, it's got a runoff area. This here, it can move. The most delicate part is here because if it's slightly out your, your bogies are going to catch and it's done, and rattling around it's going to disconnect. That's the most important part. Anyway, thank you. Right, what I've done is I've connected the point up here you've seen where you mark it and cut them out and here here I, I need to move this across but what I need to do first of all is to make sure this runs okay so I've got a locomotive I know it runs on this and we'll see what the crossover works like and this is a large locomotive you always do this with your larger ones and you can see it's a doddle but one of the reasons it's so easy is not because I'm not because I'm any good at model, doing model railways it's because they're, they're streamlined track and streamlined track you've got it's such a good radius you're not under so much pressure 
with streamlined trap. The radius is just so good, and it's what well, it says streamlined. And the trains run a lot better on streamlined track anyway. So we'll try to do. And bear in mind, the points aren't straight yet. We haven't levelled them out. Points crossovers do need to be straight. And you can see. This points crossover works fine. <coughs> the bend I know here is going to be right anyway because as you saw it's the same bend as before. I made sure that the bend matched what was there before. And the important thing is, is to make sure different locos will run okay. Now you could see then it, it tilted slightly because it's not level. But other than that, that's the important thing. Run a few locos round. It's no good running one or running your favourite loco because if your favourite loco is works better. Here's a warship, beautiful Batman model. And it sounds gorgeous. In this crossover you can see is a peach. But the important thing is, as I keep stressing, is preparation, testing, making sure here's an A4 woodstock. These are a bit sensitive to track. If it comes here, I won't be off here, I won't be surprised because it, well you can see, look, <laughs> it's, it's awful. But it's easy. I've lost a tender there, and that's my fault because the track isn't right. I got a bit cocky, but you can see that it does work as it should. And the thing is, is to make sure that you check tenders back on that. I think soon find out. Don't be afraid to test different locomotives. Do not be afraid, and I'm running them through now so you can see. We'll bring another one out if it will move. Here we go. Britannia class. Pump them all through. And that came off there, I think. Oh no, it didn't. Just could bet you can see the track is absolutely as it should be. So now we've checked everything, we can look at moving this across because we've got the flexibility here just to move it across a tad. Here we've got to put uh, the plastic insole fish plates because if you're running uh, digital there and analog there you're going to blow up your analog transformer. You need to insulate these parts of the track where you've got crossovers because believe it or not the power still feeds through so we're nearly there really uh, it's just a tidying up job and making sure everything is level you've got to make sure you've got to have your spirit level and you've got to make sure well that's like that and you can see and that's like that you've got to make sure with points crossovers that they are level otherwise trains will derail actually that is level <coughs> And that's the bottom line. So you can see, you prioritise the bend here because you know that bend works. That's the most important thing. And the reason is, is because you've got no flexibility here. You, 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 where you've got the least flexibility is where you prioritise. Here, you can see I've got loads of flexibility here, loads of flexibility here. I mean, if, if I had to, I could have just pushed this in a bit and move that point motor to there. I've got the space. The point motor here will go here and the point motor for this will go there. And you can see we have the space to do this. So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to lift this, cut it, move it across and get it so that it's, it's lined up. Right, what I've done is I've taken this up and 
I've basically trimmed the other end and dressed it as you've seen me do. And now we're going to try and connect it to the track. It should be okay, I hope. I hope I've dressed the, the ends okay. As I say, it's just easy with a set of nice. And make sure you've got decent tools, not cheap tools that flex with the fish plates. And here we go. That's everything connected up as far as the track's concerned. I've had to move this piece across here just a tad and you can probably see just in here where it's happened and we're going to try it running around the other way so we're hoping yeah that's cool and we can move that round a little bit we've got a bit of flexibility there and it's flexible track so we can pull it out a little bit and we can move maneuver it into a better position and obviously with flexible track it gives me just, you know, and you've got and what you've got to remember is is when you're dealing with model railways, a movement of a millimetre to a model train is quite a lot. And what I'm going to do now is just screw this down here. I thought I've got a screw hole there. Well I will have. No, I can't do it. Because I can't hold it down. Here we are, I've connected this up. Now, the reason that bogey came off, and I'll just show you so you can see why, is because there's a dip here. That's going to have to be raised up, and we will do that with uh, washers and ballast. But if you've got a dip, if I lift this up a little bit and pull it up, it should be okay. There you go. And you can see that part of the track, it works absolutely fine. The way you've got dips in fish plates, bogies will come off. Bear that in mind. So basically we've got, we've done all the donkey work. We know what we need to do and you can see that's lovely, beautiful, that beautiful. And nothing else has changed. All we've done, the bend here is exactly the same as it was before because we've made sure we've stayed with that and we know that works and we've got to make sure that works okay. Down here works fine and because it's streamlined there's no real pressure on the engine or the bogies. And you can see, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And pull it round. And there we go, absolute doddle. And I'll put the train back. And we'll take everything up now. And we'll clear everything out of the way and level everything out. And obviously what we'll be doing is, is we'll be taking out all the ballast here, all the ballast along here, that we might get, we'll get away with, and everything round here so we can have it nice and straight. You can see that's not straight because the point's too high, but we'll be digging all this out here, and that's the important part of the preparation. So what we'll be doing is we'll be taking all this up, <coughs> and we'll be now doing the prep work, but we know it all works. We know that everything is lined up. A tip here, if you're doing something like this, Pico or Hornby, set piece track is very good on a bend because you know it will keep that bend. You know, if you've got flexi in there, it can move and it, and it can just push things out. So you've got that as a barometer, where you go, that as a barometer, and this as well. So you're not getting any movement, so you can keep everything in line. As I said, preparation is the most important thing. As far as the point motors are concerned, easy, plenty of room there. Plenty of room either way, here or there, probably here. And uh, we'll show you once we've got it all prepped and everything's down. Thank you.